So another pivot table formatting trick that's very, very easy, but not always intuitive, is the fact that you can change and customize your column headers. So right now, uh, we've got our row labels, which are named exactly what the fields are named, country and genre. But for gross revenue, when we pulled it in, it automatically assigned this label sum of gross revenue. And that will show whatever summarization mode you're using. Uh, and we'll talk about that more in the calculated value section. But sum of gross revenue isn't a very friendly name. So let's say I want to change that to total revenue instead. All I need to do is select that header label and go up in the formula bar and just type in the new name right there. And it just changes the column header to whatever I choose. The one thing I will point out here is that if I wanted to name this gross revenue, which is the name of the raw data column, I'm going to get this error that says the pivot table field name already exists. So a little workaround here, if I just add a space at the end, Excel will treat that as a totally separate value and allow me to drop that in. So little tip there, uh, sometimes you want to use more friendly or more intuitive names for your columns, that's how you do it.